So welcome back to one more session of your aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acid chapter. So we have already done completely a thorough revision of the preparations of aldehydes and ketones. I already uh, uploaded the videos which are based on preparation of aromatic aldehydes, ketones, basic aliphatic aldehydes and ketones. Now let us come back and do the next topic that is your physical properties of aldehydes and ketones. So whenever you are speaking about physical properties, uh, you know, such topics are basically given in the form of questions in your exam that is your reasoning questions. So, we very well know in physical properties we have melting point, boiling point, solubility, density, right? And whether that is gaseous state or whether does it exist in liquid state at room temperature, all these things together. Now, I have picked up certain questions in your aldehydes and ketones. Let us write, I have already written the question. Let us write the answer and this will be helpful for you in the board exam also. Right, let us read. Are aldehydes and ketones polar in nature? Yes, so... What does the meaning of the word polarity means? The exist existence of both the dipoles, the positive and the negative dipole, yes. So when I speak or when this question is given to me, I'm going to write, first my answer would be yes. And then after that, you're going to prove that. Yes, both aldehydes and ketones are polar in nature. Now, once you write, you have to justify your answer. How to justify your answer? When I speak about an aldehyde, as we know, it contains a carbonyl group with one hydrogen and one alkyl group. If I speak about a ketone, you have a carbonyl group, one <coughs> alkyl group, again one more alkyl group, isn't it? This is what we've studied. Now, why are they polar? Because of the electronegative nature of oxygen, this shade pair of electron is dragged by this oxygen here. Here also, because of the electronegative nature, this is it. Because what happens when it's dragging the electron pair? This attains a partial negative charge and this attains a partial positive charge. Yes, here also seeing it attains partial negative and partial positive charges. So, isn't it polar or dipoles, isn't it? Yeah, because of this polar nature, now it is easy for me to dissolve this aldehyde and uh, your ketones in water. So, miscibility, yes or no? Yeah, when suppose this, you have H plus and OH minus, it can easily attract this and this also and finally dissolve by forming hydrogen. Bonds. So, your answer should, you will be completing your answer like this, showing difference in electronegativity of oxygen and alkyl groups. That's it. This is your answer. Complete that. Let us come back and see the next question. Why does the miscibility of aldehyde and ketone decrease with increase in carbon chain of alkyl group? Okay, fine. Basically, when you are starting such answers, first try to give the example and start with your explanation. So they said miscibility. What is miscibility? Miscibility is nothing but your solubility. Yeah. They are asking us, <coughs> as the number of alkyl group increases, the solubility decreases, they said. We have to reason that. First, let me give an example. First, the basic ethanol or ethanaldehyde, ethanol, CH3, C. H, right? Ethanol is soluble in water, easily soluble in water because of less bulkier alkyl group. Then if I speak about your uh, next methanol, meth, right? H, C, H, O. No bulkier groups, easily soluble in water, isn't it? Right? Now, when I go to the next alkyl group, so after eat, meth, prop, let us write the next alkyl group, propanol. Okay, now what happens when I compare propanol, pebutanol, pentanol, hexanol, all these you are increasing the number of alkyl groups. So, CH3, C, double bond O, now this is your propanol, isn't it? Yeah, so this is your hydrogen, you are going to write this, yeah. Now, let me write in a straight way, this will be better for me, propanol, 1, 2, 3, yes. Yeah, this is your proponent. So, as the number of alkyl groups are increasing, <coughs> the solubility automatically decreases, isn't it? So, first thing, what are you going to conclude? For lower members, lower members, that is your ethanol, methanol and your basic, uh, if I say the ketone, acetone. Yeah, lower members are soluble due to hydrogen bonding. We, I'll show that also. When it comes to higher members like propanol, butanol, pentanol, all these, what is going to happen? They are immiscible. That is what you have to write the word immiscible because of, because of increase in 
alkyl groups what is the role of alkyl groups alkyl groups are hydrophobic in nature isn't it so you are going to justify saying alkyl groups are hydrophobic water hating they can't they will not dissolve in water now here what happened hydrogen bonding i said i have to show that now pick up this basic example now acetaldehyde c now this is your aldehyde your oxygen electronegative isn't it now this is going to form now your water molecule this is going to form a hydrogen bonding with water molecule h o and h just observe carefully yeah this is your hydrogen bonding because of this hydrogen bonding this is a soluble in water because of the presence of alkyl groups those are insoluble in water this is how you will justify the answer simple <coughs> please note the question try to put it in this format So let us come back and do the next physical property that is your boiling property, boiling point uh, trend. So you have already done the solubility or the miscibility of aldehydes and ketones. Let us see. What does this question ask us to write? Why, why, why is the boiling point of aldehyde and ketone higher than hydrocarbon? Okay, right. So we are going to divide the board into two equal halves and justify our answers. First they said BP of aldehyde and ketone are greater than hydrocarbons they said okay just like your alkenes alkenes uh, alkenes alkenes and alkynes hydrocarbons now they said but there's a word here they said but the lower than alcohols and acids okay again we will write boiling point of aldehydes and ketones are lower than alcohols and acids we have to justify this easy when now we are speaking about boiling point most important thing is <laughs> number of alkyl groups if the number of alkyl groups are more yeah the boil or the hydrophobic nature starts increasing when the hydrophobic nature starts increasing it's very difficult for me to break the bond and dissolve it yes or boil it rather so remember one concept whenever boiling point concept is given speak in terms of alkyl groups Okay, now when I write an aldehyde structure it is CH3 CHO and this is your aldehyde when I write a ketone it is your CH3 CO CH3 right now when I write a hydrocarbon basically you have all alkyl groups attached isn't it now all alkyl groups <clears throat> now because of this the electronegative oxygen atom easily it's going to form two poles one is your partial negative charge partial positive charge here also it's the same partial negative and partial positive do you find any charges here in hydrocarbons no isn't it so what are the forces acting yeah first important force which is acting is the dipolar nature means formation of two poles correct because of this dipole what will happen it's going to attract the nearby water molecules and it's going to dissolve in that once it dissolves in that i can easily boil it isn't it so first you can write presence of presence of dipole dipole two poles right so this pole is going to attract the nearest water molecule next important thing along with this there's amount of dispersion force also acting yes so let us write that it also shows dispersion forces these two are the important factors for boiling point now when it comes to hydrocarbon is there any dipole dipole so first you will write no dipole observed when there is no dipole no attraction towards water molecule when there is no attraction towards water molecule there's no concept of boiling only you know it's very difficult for us to boil that but you have dispersion forces observed so only difference between this and this is dispersion forces this has dipole this doesn't have let us come back now i have to justify this question aldehydes and ketones have boiling point lesser than acids and alcohol now what happened here in an aldehyde group when i see aldehyde when i write a ketone done let me write an alcohol alcohol no, alcohol let me write your functional group <coughs> now uh, this is your alcohol isn't it now let me write an acid yes this is your acid now what happens here they said boiling point is very less what is the comparison you are able to see here in this particular case when i take an aldehyde you have a bulkier alkyl group 
here also bulkier alkyl group correct so let us write that point now when i have this bulkier alkyl group the logic is it, the insolubility or this one decreases when i'm comparing these two okay so solubility decreases when solubility decreases <coughs> what will happen means it will not it's very difficult for me to dissolve that particular alkyl halide now here what happens uh, uh, in alcohol this is going to show me intermolecular hydrogen bonding how is this showing now this is your oxygen now this is going to form an intermolecular hydrogen bonding with one more yeah this is your hydrogen correct now let us write oxygen ch2 ch3 so what are you observing you are observing intermolecular hydrogen bonding correct so when it is showing intermolecular hydrogen bonding obviously the boiling point starts increasing intermolecular hydrogen bonding so when the intermolecular hydrogen bonding is very high boiling point automatically increases so bp increases this is how you justify let us write in case of acids when i pick up an acid now let us see this is going to combine with one more acid that is your ch3 let us write acids this now here you have double bond oxygen try to write hydrogen on this side try to write oxygen okay this the oxygen of this and the oxygen of this tries to form intermolecular hydrogen bonding again the same you have intermolecular hydrogen bonding when the intermolecular hydrogen bonding increases what will happen boiling point increases but are you finding here no isn't it compared to this group here the inter there is uh, uh, the concept of intermolecular hydrogen bonding we can't speak in terms of intermolecular hydrogen bonding hence your boiling point is less bulkier groups uh, the amount of amount of intermolecular hydrogen bonding not observed not observed that's it this is how you will justify write the reason for both and justify your answer